So hello, everybody. Good evening and welcome from Sight and Sound Technology to a very special evening webinar on this Wednesday evening, um, the 20, uh, 27th of um, October. My name is Stuart Lawler. I'm from Sight and Sound Technology and I'm head of online content and uh, content creation or digital content, call it what you will. With me in the room as well is our chief exec, Glenn Tukey. And uh, Glenn and I are going to be, um, I guess, uh, co-hosting this session this evening. And uh, we're very, very excited. To um, Sorry, our recording was went funny there for a sec. We're very interested. We're very happy to have Gleb and Katya from Voxmate with us. And Voxmate is an accessible suite of apps, and we'll find out all about it in the next hour or so. We'd love to hear your uh, questions and comments as we go along. And you can do that in two ways. You can type in the chat, which is available to you right now. Uh, click the chat button on your screen or on your mobile application. And Glenn will be keeping an eye on the chat. Or if you'd like to actually talk to us, you can raise your hand. and We will be going for questions uh, later on this hour. And I'll keep an eye on the raised hands. And we'd love to hear your comments and thoughts and questions for Glenn and Katya. Now, before we get started, I'm going to hand over to Glenn Tukey, our CEO, to say a few words. So Glenn, over to you. Yeah, and thank you, uh, Stuart, and welcome everybody and my thanks to uh, Gleb and Katia for coming on tonight and showing us their new technology because that's what we're doing here and this is our very first of the brand new technologies that we believe are going to change um, the lives of people with uh, low vision. Uh, we spend a lot of time scouring the world for the very best technologies out there and um, so keep an eye on what we're doing in this uh, arena at Sight and Sound because uh, if you're interested in what's coming up next, then uh, I think we may be the place uh, to help you out with that. And I'm really, really pleased uh, tonight to, to have uh, Gleb and Katia with us because uh, we've been talking for some time uh, into good old Europe um, to with our friends there. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've uh, got for us tonight. So Stuart, back to you. Thanks, Glenn. And uh, by the way, you can check out Gleb was uh, featured on our podcast, I think just only a couple of weeks ago. So if you search for Sight and Sound Technology, wherever you get your podcasts, uh, you can check them out. But now I'm delighted to hand over. Uh, we're going to hand over to Katia first uh, to say hello. So Katia, you're welcome. And I think you're going to you're going to bring in Gleb. Uh, so welcome to our session and thank you for coming this evening. That's right. Thank you very much. And hello, everyone. Hi from Estonia. Hi from Tallinn. It's quite cold out here, so we will just make it warm and fuzzy by being here on the webinar. So really great uh, to be here. Now to Voxmate. So how this all started? Uh, well, a few years ago, my um, father unexpectedly lost his sight and he had to stay in a hospital for a while. And while he was in the hospital, he wanted like basic things to call us, to listen to the radio, to the audio books, to read the news. And um, for that, he wanted to use his phone, Android phone. So to help him, we tried learning screen readers ourselves so that we can teach it uh, to him, but it was too complicated uh, in the end for him. So we tried some other simple technologies as well. For example, we downloaded uh, audio books on MP3 players. And so that was fine for, for some time, but of course these um, like capabilities are very limited. So after a while, we thought that maybe we are in a position to develop something that could be used from day one after site loss and would make sense from day one. So something that is a simple solution that does not require any special skills and could become a stepping stone into assistive technology. And so after a few months of uh, development, we got our prototype into the hands of blind people here in Estonia. They gave us uh, feedback, we iterated some, uh, some time, and then invited 100 people around the world to join our beta. And with them and with their feedback, we actually also find out that even experienced users like our intuitive interface. So this is my short beginning and Gleb. Hi everyone, I'm Gleb. I'm the principal developer of Voxmate. My job here is to make um, uh, software and to, you know, have a big vision for the future. So uh, Voxmate has this, what we call a blind first metaphor. And like many other software products out there, 
we start with the idea that um, the screen is blank and we want to create a wonderful, great audio experience. Now, as an aside goal, we also want this to be natural and easy to learn. Thinking about um, uh, people like Katya's father, it, uh, it, using technologies such as voiceover and talkback can be quite difficult. So we started with uh, this idea that we can make a great audio experience and it should be easy to learn. And we achieved this by um, rethinking the UI of it as well. The UI of, in Voxmate is very, very simple. It's easy to get started with. It, you only need four swipes to, to kind of get into it. You swipe up, down, left and right to get around. Up and down usually means going through uh, a list of some sort. Uh, swiping right usually means activating that list element, and swiping left usually means go back. So in that sense, Voxmate is not as other screen readers. We do not make other apps accessible. Instead, we create our own applications that are audio first. And we think about Voxmate as an audio first app platform. That, that means that we can create uh, these little applications, deploy them to Voxmate, manage them remotely and so on. And uh, Voxmate becomes this kind of platform for supporting that, those applications for kind of uh, creating the ecosystem around it all. We started our debut uh, with about 20 audio first applications. Um, we started internally with applications like, such as news and podcasts and YouTube. And I'm gonna show a couple of these applications to you, but we have 20 in total right now, different, you know, different in, um, in type of uh, difficulty as well. So some of them are much simpler, some of them a little bit trickier in the sense that they allow you to do more things. And uh, we have uh, basically a suite of uh, entertainment apps, suite of utilities, suite of games, and so on. Um, another thing is um, of note that uh, we, we get a lot asked a lot is, can you use Voxmate alongside TalkBack? And that's true. Yes, you can. Uh, there's a special TalkBack compatibility mode. You enable it, and that allows you to kind of um, use uh, Voxmate and TalkBack seamlessly by just adding another finger. Uh, if you swipe up and down, TalkBack usually takes over, but you add another finger and, 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 uh, and then Voxmate takes over. And another thing that we get asked a lot, and we'll just preempt this question, uh, what about low vision people? Well, Voxmate puts everything on the screen by default, everything it says on the screen, but we think of Voxmate as audio first. That means that it's supposed to be a great audio experience. And with that, uh, I think it's time to uh, go into a Voxmate demo. Okay, so let's just try it out. Everything that Jeb just explained. Voxmate. Phone. So, as Gleb mentioned, you can navigate in Voxmate through gestures up and down, left and right. If you go up and down, you go through the options. If you go right, you choose an option. And if you go left, you exit this option. So, it's like a set of uh, menus and it's located like that. Let's just go uh, for the beginning, just through the main menu. I would swipe down right now. Entertainment, social, games, resources, utilities, early access feedback, settings. It's now 21 hours, 12 minutes and 16 seconds. Phone. Okay, and I'm now back at the beginning. So it's like a Rolodex. And almost always you get back to the beginning after a cycle. Okay, so Voxmate, you can think of Voxmate as a browser and our audio first apps are like websites. So every time you open the app, it updates to the latest version. So before we jump you know, into the details, let me just once again explain how these gestures work. So I would go into this time tile and just you know, uh, show what's, what's there. So I would just write, up once right now. It's now 21 hours, 12 minutes and 57 seconds. You have seven unread Voxmate notifications. Swipe right for details, messages and weather. And that's exactly what I will do. Seven unread notifications. Today is October 27th. 
your battery is at 87%. The temperature outside is 10 degrees Celsius. Swipe right for more details. And again, that's what I would do. Overcast clouds. 25.9 kilometers per hour western winds. 86% relative humidity. 1000 hectopascals atmospheric pressure. 90% relative cloud cover. The sunrise was 12 hours and 45 minutes ago at 8.28 a.m. The sunset was 3 hours and 32 minutes ago at 5.41 p.m. Okay, so this is the end for the weather. Now to get back to the main menu, I would just swipe multiple times left. The temperature out. It's now 21. Vox mate. Entertainment. Phone. So as you probably noticed, we can interrupt Voxmate. It's, it's totally fine, Voxmate isn't hurt by that. So whenever you want to, to interrupt whatever Voxmate is saying right now, you just can you know, make any kind of swipes. Okay, so uh, all our apps are located in categories. And uh, right now I would just you know, go quite quickly through the categories and just name the apps that we have. So for example, Phone is the first app that we have, and with this, you can easily make and receive calls. I will just swipe down. Entertainment. Under entertainment section, we have uh, news, audiobooks, YouTube. You can listen to music, to podcasts, and radio. So six apps in total. Again, I would just swipe down from here. Social. Okay. In the social section, you can send an instant message to your loved ones via Telegram, for example, or you can also record a voice message for other Voxmate users in the audio forum. This is our specific app that we made. Uh, I will tell you later about it. So again, I would just swipe down once. Games. Okay. In the games, you can play Sudoku, Math Doku, Blackjack Quiz, and this is a games you can play on your own. But also, you can find a worthy opponent for a round of the card games, like uh, four, uh, four Colors, for example, or Tic-Tac-Toe. So once again, I would swipe down. Resources. In the resources, you'll find apps that can help you and support you. For example, we have a full access to Headshow's Knowledge Village. Swipe down. Utilities. And in the utilities, you can scan printed text, make a voice recording in the notes, and identify places nearby that Wikipedia knows about. Early access feedback. This is an app you can use to send us your feedback. I really appreciate it uh, because it actually explains us what I am struggling with. I swipe down. Settings. It's settings, a lot of things out there. It's now 21 hours. Phone. Okay, so I interrupted Voxmate and I'm back into phone. So again, we just made a circle. Okay, so now let me try to recreate our user experience. When Voxmate is first launched, it starts with a basic gestures tutorial. And later, you can find all of our tutorials uh, in the settings, help menu. But since my Voxmate is already set up, I'll just go and show you uh, our tutorial, our first tutorial uh, from the settings. So I would swipe multiple times up and then right uh, to find the help section. It's now 21 hour settings. Manage subscription. Quit Voxmate. Help. I swipe right. Tutorials. I swipe right. Part one basic navigation. Okay, so I will swipe right and I will do exactly what the tutorial says. So let's just follow its lead. Welcome. This is a short tutorial to show you the basics of Voxmate. To skip the tutorial, draw a counterclockwise circle on the screen. To use Voxmate, you mostly need four swipes, up, down, left, and right. Try swiping up. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick up. Try swiping down. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick down. Use up and down swipes to jump between items in menus. Try swiping left. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick left. Try swiping right. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick right. Use the swipe right gesture to activate an option in menus. Use the swipe left gesture to go back. Let's try all the gestures together. Try finding banana in this menu by swiping up or down. When you find it, swipe right to activate. Apple. Okay. And let's just assume that I didn't hear it. Uh, I didn't hear that Voxmate asked me to find a banana. So I would swipe right on Apple. No, we are looking for a banana. Let's try all the gestures together. 
Try finding banana in this menu by swiping up or down. When you find it, swipe right to activate. Apple. Okay. This time I would swipe down. Orange. And once again. Mango. And once again. Banana. Here it is. I swipe right. Try finding banana again, but this time from a submenu. Vegetables. Nope. Swipe down. Fruits. Yes. Swipe right. Apple. No, down. Banana. Yes, and I swipe right. Now you've got the basics to start using Voxmate. Pay attention to this sound. This sound indicates a helpful hint. Hints are repeated a number of times, but then stop. Here's your first hint. Did you know that we have more tutorials? You can find them in settings, help, tutorials. Part 1 Basic Navigation. So here we are. And this is how Voxmate starts. This is what our users go through when they uh, download and install Voxmate. Okay, so let's suppose I want to listen to an audiobook. And I will also want to put this audiobook um, with a sleep time, to listen to it with a sleep timer, because I know that in 15 minutes I will definitely uh, fall asleep. So what would I do? Right now I'm somewhere in the app. But like, how would I think about it? So the safest way to go, I would just always swipe left. And that's what I will do. I will swipe left until I reach uh, the main menu. Tutorials. Help. Settings. Voxmate. Phone. Okay. I think right now I'm, I mean, I know I, right now I'm in the main menu. So what next? I would find a category that would feel like a logic place uh, to host an audiobook. So I would swipe down. Entertainment. Here it is. I know that audiobooks are under entertainment, so I would swipe right. World news. No, but I know that this is a menu with all the apps that we have in the entertainment. So I would just swipe up right now to find audiobooks. Tune into radio. No. Listen to podcasts. No. Music on my phone. Browse YouTube. Listen to audiobooks. Here we are. Okay, so what I do, in Voxmate I always swipe right if I want to choose an option, so I swipe right. LibriVox audiobooks. This is the only library we support currently, so I just swipe right on it. My bookshelf. And I already know that I had a book on my bookshelf, so again, I would just swipe right. The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Seems like a good choice to me, so again, I just swipe right. Continue listening. And that's again what I will do. I will swipe right. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, who was usually very late in the mornings, save upon those not infrequent occasions when he was up all night, was seated at the breakfast table. I stood upon the hearth rug and picked up the stick which our visitor had left behind him the night before. It was a fine, thick piece of wood. Okay. What I did right now, because I wanted to continue talking to you, is that I tapped the screen. And this tapping the screen is a simple gesture that we have that basically pauses any activity in Voxmate. And right now I paused an audiobook. So why did I do it? Because I wanted to show that quite often in the playback in, in Voxmate, you can also swipe right and there will be an additional menu. So right now I, would un I will unpause and swipe right. Bulbous headed of the sort. You are listening to section one of 15, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Sleep timer. Okay, so here we have a couple of options. Uh, let me just go through them uh, again by swiping down. Go to beginning of this section. Go to next section. Set playback speed. Sleep timer. Okay, and as I mentioned previously, I just wanted to put a sleep timer for 15 minutes. So how do I do it? Again, I would just swipe right. Five minutes. And down. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. This is uh, my option. I would swipe right. Which is known as a Penang lawyer. Okay. Just under the head was a broad silver band nearly an inch across. And so sleep timer is already set on. And this is how you do it. Okay. So, but let's, uh, from now, uh, suppose that Gleb also wanted to make a call. 
Uh, so currently I would just go to left. continue listening. Hi guys. So for this part of the demo, I'm just gonna uh, call up Katya. Uh, she could have been listening to the audio book. It's just a little bit hard to talk over it. So, so for, uh, for, for, for this example, let's suppose the phone is just sitting there idling and, and, and I would be calling her up. Um, and are we doing this live? So let's see if it works. Gleb is calling, swipe right to answer. So it, it announces that I'm calling, you can answer. See what happens, and uh, for and currently I, I may be echoing somewhere. Not, not sure exactly how this works, but um, uh, you can use uh, VoxMate metaphors like swiping left and right uh, with the dialer on Android. Now Katya swiped left to cancel the call. You can swipe right on an incoming call to activate it, and uh, so. Uh, uh, these options are available to you uh, as an Android user because Android allows you to specify which dialer you want to use. You can set VoxMate as a default dialer. And then you have this simple metaphor. There's some visuals, but visuals are there mostly for uh, people who have a little bit of vision. You can use everything we're showing you uh, without looking at all. Okay. And so later on, you can go to the phone app again. Uh, I would just swipe left until I get to the main menu. The Hound of the Basque. My bookshelf. LibriVox audio. Listen to audio. Entertainment. Vox mate. Phone. I know. Back to the beginning. And so you can swipe right on phone. Cartier Danilova. And this is the first contact you will get if this contact is your favorite contact. But what you can also do in the phone, uh, let me just, you know, showcase. I will just swipe down. And Voxmate will tell what it knows how to do. Phone book. Dial a phone number. Recent calls. Settings. Cartier Danilova. And we are back to the beginning. And also I can see uh, a question in the chat uh, from Angela. Do you need to call from a Voxmate phone to Voxmate phone or any phone to the Voxmate? And yes, any phone to the Voxmate and from Voxmate to any phone. So it's like, basically you take uh, Voxmate as a, a dialer. It, it, it's, it's quite similar to what Android has as a dialer. It's just um, Voxmate can have an access to your phone book, to all contacts you have in the, con in, in the phone book. You can also modify your contacts and you can call this contact or uh, dial uh, any kind of number in the dial pad and just call this number. So this is how you would go in the phone. Um, what would I like to do? I think right now, um, I would also would like to show you our gaming because uh, it's a bit more complicated. So uh, much more texts, but I think you can follow and it's, it's, it's quite fun to do as well. So we, again, how would we find the game? I will just go back to the main menu by swiping left. Phone. Now I'm in the main menu. I would just swipe down until I find games. Entertainment. Social. Games. And that's why break. Game club. Game club. Play games so game... with people online. That's exactly right. Uh, with game club, you can play uh, games with other people, with other Voxmate users. So right now, I would again uh, need help from Gleb, but I would just swipe right on it. Play. Swipe right. Four colors. A fun shredding card game. Yeah. This is a two player game. We have two games currently. It's four colors and I swipe down. Tic Tac Toe. An audio and version of a simple pen and paper game. This is a two player game. And, you know, very, very like um, well known game, I would say. So we would, uh, because it's quite uh, fast paced, we would play this game. So I would just swipe right uh, and express my wish to play a game. Welcome to Tic Tac Toe Waiting Room. Looking for one more player to join. You will get a notification once your party is assembled. You can do something else meanwhile. Your party is ready. Double tap to confirm when you are ready to begin. Okay, now I will just double tap. What happened in the, in the, in the middle? Your you party probably... is ready. Double tap to confirm when you are ready to begin. I will just double tap. 
Hi the tourist, waiting for your opponent. Lizard Wizard just joined. Let's play. It's your turn. Central tile is unmarked. Central tile is unmarked. Okay. So um, right now it's already ticking. So I would just double tap so that. Uh, central tile is crossed. My central tile will be closed, uh, crossed. And now it's uh, Gleb's move. Lizard Wizard circled the northern tile. It's your turn. Central tile is crossed. Okay. I would, I can now go left and right, down and up. We are right now in the grid. I would go down. Southern tile is unmarked. And I would double tap the screen so that I can mark this tile. Southern tile is crossed. Now it's Gleb's turn. I can wait. I can go around. Central tile is crossed. I can. Uh... Northern tile is circled. Lizard wizard circled the eastern tile. It's your turn. Northern tile is circled. Okay, I'm really bad with this circle, so I'll just, you know, go through the tiles. I'll go left. Northeastern tile is unmarked. I'll go down. Eastern tile is circled. I'll go down. Southeastern tile is unmarked. Okay, I'll pick this one. So double tap. Southeastern tile is crossed. And again, it's, it's the upstairs. Lizard wizard circled the western tile. It's your turn. Southeastern okay. tile is crossed. I would go just right. Southern tile is crossed. Southwestern tile is unmarked. Yay! Congratulations, you've won. So game over. Play. Okay. So this is how you play tic-tac-toe game. Um, quite, quite simple one. And I also can see a question from Peter. So Peter is writing. Uh, this is Peter for Kent Association for the Blind. I have a quick question. Uh, my question is, what is the minimum specification needed to run an Android? Thank you for this question. So you need an Android 7 Nougat. Uh, it basically means that the phone should be four or five years and you are good to go. And Voxmit can be downloaded on Google Play. Uh, so it's like for, for everyone to, uh, to download. So this is, I think, how our short demo ends. Um, um, there are some things that I haven't covered. For example, in many places, you can use your voice to narrate messages. For example, in audio forum or in Telegram, you can send an audio message instead of text message. And audio forum is such a place uh, that is created specifically for our users to you know, exchange ideas or to ask us uh, about something about Voxmate or any other things. Also, Voxmate can be set as a launcher. And when Voxmate is a launcher, so launcher is a concept on Android phones that replaces your home screen. And then when Voxmate is a launcher, you can just basically, when you unlock the screen, Voxmate is already here and you can access any apps you have on your phone through Voxmate uh, gestures. And then Voxmate has an editor and you can use it in search, in uh, managing texts, in creating text, in creating notes. And this is a place where you can uh, create new text or edit all the existing texts. Um, so, so these are things that there are also uh, present uh, on Voxmate. And I guess now it's a Q&A part. Okay, thank you, uh, Katya, and thank you, Gleb. It's a really, really great presentation, really great demo. Um, I have yet to try out um, Voxmate and maybe come to come to the reason why in a second, Gleb. Uh, but um, yeah, if you have questions, and we've had a couple of questions on chat, which Gleb and Katya have answered in the presentation, but if you have more or you'd like to raise your hand, you can do so. Click the raise hand button, or if you're using a keyboard, of course, that keystroke is Alt and Y. Um, Gleb, one of the, I suppose I had two, two things that came into my mind, and one is around people who may need some assistance. So if you have a family member who's using a Voxmate, um, there is, is there not an aspect of uh, control that, that maybe a family member can do to help that person? Um, thank you for asking. This is a cool feature that we have in Voxmate that we call the portal. The portal allows you to uh, log in into someone else's Voxmate remotely. Um, it, it, it asks for your code, but, but you, can, you can just give the code once and it, it, it would work from then on. The idea here is to help someone who is, for whom even Voxmate may be tough to use, to set up some of the features. For example, radio stations. Instead of searching for radio stations on your own, you can preset radio station in Voxmate, or you could 
use our portal to preset radio station. The portal can also be used to uh, change many settings and, 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 and things like that. Also, when you set up VoxMe for the first time, uh, we have this, what we call a co-pilot mode. Uh, in co-pilot mode, we will give you a little bit more instructions about how you can help your VIP. And um, also uh, we will ask for permission. So VoxMate uses um, permissions like any other application on Android would, would ask for permissions, but it might not be super convenient to have those permission dialogues pop up every time you need some new feature. So for example, microphone is a permission feature on Android, camera is a permission feature on Android and so on. So if you're using uh, the co-pilot mode when you set up VoxMate for the first time, it will you will have the option to grant all permissions at once. And so kind of simplify this experience. Finally, it's also worth mentioning that uh, VoxMate can be set up as a um, launcher. On Android, launcher takes over your home screen. And so when you unlock the phone, you, get, you go straight to VoxMate. And it can be a very convenient way for people to uh, that, 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 that are struggling with their phone to get to get to it quicker. Okay, that, that, that actually sort of segues nicely into something else I wanted to touch on with you. What about people who use VoxMate uh, quite happily, but kind of also want to use other aspects of their Android phone and maybe do some stuff that VoxMate currently doesn't do? How does it integrate with TalkBack? Well, we want to see VoxMate as... Um, a layer under uh, TalkBack. TalkBack is, is the more advanced layer, the more for, for more proficient users. And, and VoxMate should be the bottom layer for people who are just getting into accessibility. So the ideal use case is someone who's just struggling with their, with their phone. And so you install VoxMate and uh, things become accessible. And then uh, the person might want to grow out of some, uh, some of these applications. So they might want to use, as you say, a native app on the phone. What they can do then is depending on their uh, you know, loss of vision. So for example, if you set up VoxMate as launcher and you have some vision and there's a nice app with big text that you wanna use, you can use VoxMate to launch that app and then you can use your home button in, at the bottom of the screen to, to go back. Uh, if the app is not as accessible and you want to use TalkBack, maybe you will also start the app from VoxMate, turn on TalkBack, use the app as best you can, and then maybe you'll go back. But our position is that you should kind of feel uh, VoxMate as a safe space to go back to. Now, our more advanced users use VoxMate in a slightly different way. They kind of um, use it for some uh, some part. They, they like uh, our Telegram client, for example, and they just use VoxMate for that functionality. So VoxMate is, has a little bit uh, for everyone, as we like to say. Okay. Uh, I, I, I mentioned just a couple of minutes ago that I hadn't actually experienced it yet, and that's because I don't have an Android phone. Uh, I'm an iPhone user. And is there, because I know when you and I chatted a little while ago for our podcast, mm. we, we kind of touched on this. Is there an iOS version in the works? Is that something people can can see in the future? We are working on an iOS version right now. We started with Android uh, because Android allows us to take over the system in, in much higher capacity and to fulfill our vision of uh, this um, simple tier accessibility, right? When you don't have any phone, you can't use voiceover, you can't use talkback. This, the best thing you can do is to go with a system like VoxMate on Android. Now that said, we know that a lot of users are on iOS. iOS is the de facto platform and specifically because Apple has done such a wonderful job with, with uh, voiceover. However, Apple is a more locked down environment. So they have all of these restrictions and we have to work around them in a clever way or maybe disable some functionality. We're working on this iOS app and we hope to see it within um, you know, the next, well, sometime during 20, 22. Okay, Let's put that's it great. Great. Good mm -hmm. to know. Uh, we have a message in the chat from uh, Angela Taylor, and she's just asking, um, can you demonstrate making a call? And, and I think, uh, Katya, you, you, you did, you, you sort of showed how they, you can go into the contact. Is it but, straightforward from there to make the call? Yeah, but I can also demonstrate it because it's, it's quite a short um, way to do it. So I'll just, again, go to the main menu. Game club, game. Va 
Voxmate. Phone. From here, I'll just swipe right. Katya Danilova. And let's say I would find myself through a phone book because, well, this is already a start contact, so I will just go to phone book. I swipe down. Phone book. Swipe right. B. One contact. And I will go on, uh, and find D letter. D. One contact. Swipe right. Katya Danilova. One of one. Me, so I swipe right. Call Katya Danilova. Swipe right again. Calling. Very good. So it's all very. And here so it's, it is. On, it's all, it's, on my it's all other swipes. phone, it's, it's, okay. it's already calling. So from okay. here, I just swipe left. Yeah. And uh, Angela says that's all very not easy. Connected. So thanks, Angela. Call for the Katya question. Danilova. Yeah. Uh, thank, just, thank you for that, Katya. Yep. Just to um, interject here, Katya went the uh, hard way. But of course, you can pin some uh, contacts, like Katya Danilo, which all, was already pinned. And so, again, if you're just getting uh, started with this, uh, a call to Katya would be two swipes, because uh, you can you can show that as well. If you if you're in main menu, it's just uh, uh, swipe right on the phone. Mm -hmm. Katya is on top of the phone list, and then you'd swipe right again, and then you'd have the option to call. And okay, so three swipes. Three swipes, and you're already in a conversation with Katya, and it's just right, right, right. So from that uh, from that point of view, um, like I remember my grandmother when she, um, well, she didn't lose vision or anything uh, like that, but she was never that technically gifted. And uh, when she got her VCR for the first time, um, and she wanted to watch home home movies, I had to tell her exactly which buttons to push in which order, and she would write them down in her little notebook. And then she would do the exact thing, you know, that, that was her way of managing that task. So you can see here how my grandmother, if she were to ever lose vision, would still be able to call at least Katya Danilo. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, just can, can I ask, I suppose, because there may be people here, and I'm sure there are people here who are wanting to try it out. And Angela has just, has just preempted my question and asking about the cost. But <laughs> maybe ahead could, of the guy. Angela's ahead of the Angela's great. But could you, uh, Gleb, maybe talk to us about is there a trial period? Can people go and test this thing out tonight? Uh, yes, absolutely. If you have an Android phone, you can go and download Voxmate today. You can use Voxmate for free uh, for a limited uh, number of hours per week which is uh, suitable for a lot of people. If you want to support our development and if you think it's a cool app and you want it to you know, in increase in, uh, you know, have, have more apps or, and, and, and so on and be improved upon, I encourage you to buy a subscription. And the subscription right now is something like three quid. Okay. A month. And that will give you everything that you've shown tonight. Is that, is that right? Absolutely. And you get and most more, of it. And more, yeah. And, and, and more, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so people can go to, go try it out for the limited time, uh, as you said, each week, a number of hours. But obviously, if you're going to use it a lot, it'd be well worth paying a, a subscription and, and signing up. Um, and we just had a query there, how much? And I think uh, you said about three, three, three pounds, pounds, three, uh, three pounds a month. Joshua, yeah. Yes, uh, three pounds a month uh, if you want to actually buy into the full app and uh, free if you want to use it for a certain number of hours a week. I suppose if you think of it, you know, there's so many uh, subscription-based services now, three pounds or three something euros if you're in Ireland per month is, is, is very, very good value. Uh, okay, uh, just a quick, re quick reminder, if we have any other questions, if you'd like to type in the chat or raise your hand, if you have any quick questions, maybe while we're doing that, while we're just giving a last minute, Glenn, I might pass over to yourself because you're going to, I think, tell everyone how they can keep in touch with all the stuff that's going on at Sight and Sound, and there's lots going on. Uh, yeah, just before we move into uh, some chatter from me, uh, uh, Jill's asking if, uh, if it would be the same yeah. price for the iOS version. Have you have you got to a price for iOS when you get there? I know they uh, take more money from you for using their platform is a nice way I know of saying rob you, but uh, how, what's the Apple what's the Apple position? Did I say that really on, on recording? Yes, yes, that's been recorded as well. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, um, we have not decided uh, pricing on iOS uh, just yet, and um, we hope to do so, you know, a little bit closer to, to the uh, app, to app launch.
And uh, yeah, the point I wanted to make here, and, and the reason we are uh, working uh, with the Voxmate team is because it's not so much that's what's on the platform, because that will change and that will grow, and that will become um, fuller as time goes by. But it's just that the ease of use, the way in which it makes using a phone uh, very simple. And I think as a platform upon which many applications will be mounted in the future, that's why we feel it's uh, a technology that at Sight and Sound we're very keen on being close to and supporting and obviously offering and supporting in the UK and Irish Irish markets. So um, that's why we think it's really good because it has to be uh, good value and it has to be simple and easy to use. Uh, and that's really where we uh, where we come from. Uh, Angela, no question from Angela, yeah. Angela says, can you, oh, it's disappeared on me now. Can you delete uh, some of the area that would, would not be used? If I, um, if I understand your question correctly, Angela, uh, you mean, can we disable some applications that uh, uh, the VIP shouldn't find by accident for a small child, for example, or for, um, for a person like my grandmother, so she gets even less confused. Um, we are definitely looking into that. Right now, we don't have that many apps, so we, we didn't think the disabling apps, uh, yeah, 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 right. So I, I understood Angela's question correctly, it seems. Um, we don't have that many apps right now, and um, so we haven't put that functionality in, but if we see any demand for it, and I take that you'd like that, this is one vote, um, and if we see some more demand for it, we, we can definitely introduce that. And we can make so that you can enable and disable these applications from our portal as well. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so while we're just on the last... Sorry, Katya. Before we move on, I actually have a couple of things to, uh, to say and to ask maybe even. So first would be that actually we are in the very early stages. We have launched on September 1st, so it's just two months in. And right now we would really, you know, because we have just launched, we would really appreciate any kind of feedback because we would like to create this uh, sense of strong, strong sense of community. And we do really, you know, make new things, develop new things based on, on, on feedback, based on uh, your understandings, like what, what things you tell us, like which apps would you like to see next or which functionality would you like to have? So uh, for that, uh, as well, we created Audio Forum as, as an app, and this is a place where you can exchange opinions or maybe ask us to add new features or explain some features. So in that regard, just I encourage you to uh, give Voxmate a try, to download it, to try it, and to go to Audio Forum and to say hello to us there. But before we even in, go into there, I actually have um, two questions to the audience myself. So I would really appreciate if you maybe uh, spare some uh, keystrokes and, and reply. So question number one was, uh, is which features did you find most exciting today? So I'm like- to Type that in the chat maybe? Yeah, type it example, into the chat yes. box. Yeah, type it into the chat. If, uh, which like, did you find like, most exciting or most usable or most likely to be used by you or the people around you? Exactly, like most useful maybe, or, or mm. the features that you know you like the most. For example, us, we have two different apps that we like because I'm an audiobook fan, so I am, I'm usually listening to some uh, audiobooks while cooking, for example, and I personally use Voxmate for it. Uh, but Gleb is a Telegram fan, so, so he is more into, you know, just put in Telegram, we have such an option as live tile, and basically when you are on live tile on Telegram, uh, all new messages will just come and Voxmate will read them aloud. So that's very convenient. You don't have to pop through chats. You can be just there uh, on the light out. So we have our two favorite apps. Uh, so I see some answers coming in. It sounds like other people are into audiobooks as well, Katya, like yourself. Audiobooks yeah. and podcasts seem to be favorable. Yeah. And somebody just asked a question as well. Will uh, Voxmate be able to access Zoom calls? Or is there any plans to interact with Zoom or integrate with Zoom? So uh, integ uh, integrations, uh, deep integrations, such as integration with Telegram and Zoom are of course possible. And it, it just a matter of demand and how, how you know, and, and, and the path that Voxmate takes. If we, have, if we see a lot of, uh, you know, requests for this, we will work on this. This is how 
we operate from now on. We used to think, okay, we'll make a, a packet of, of applications, and now we're going to move into a user voice driven um, development cycle. So, um, as for audiobooks and so on, uh, I hope um, I'm not revealing too much, but we're having another audiobook provider um, joining us soon, and maybe another one. And both are from UK, and because there are only two in UK, you can now infer. <laughs> wow. Okay, that, that's exciting. <laughs> yes, you can now infer which providers I'm talking about. Uh, two quick questions. Is there dictation? Someone asked about dictation for dictating messages. Is that supported? And Peter from Kent Blind Association asks, is it easy to dial? Can you dial a number that's not in the phone book? It, so in other words, is there a, um, a keypad as it is for dialing? Mm -hmm. uh, so dictation is possible, but um, we want to always enable you know, a way around something if you cannot, um, if, if the dictation engine doesn't quite get what you're saying, like for example, Katya's name or my name or anybody's name, to be honest, um, then you can also use a keyboard to uh, touch up. Um, this is a little bit more advanced feature and a lot of people uh, just go with narration. Uh, but I, I first, so, so we have this editor setting and you go into the editor, you double tap and you speak into it and then it prints all in, into the editor, spits out all the text that, that it heard. Uh, then you can go touch it up. You can remove a word. You can add a uh, punctuation mark, things like that. Another question was from Peter. Is it uh, as easy to dial a number that is not in the phone book? And yes, it is quite easy. We have a dial pad that you can also navigate by swiping up and down and then double tapping to choose um, a digit. So in that regard, it's yes, it's, it's quite easy. And then another question from uh, Laura. Sorry if I have missed it, but can you access an internet browser by speaking into Voxmail? Uh, okay, so this is um, something we are kind of in secret working on, and I don't want to talk too much about this, but this is a completely different... Uh, think about Voxmail as a, 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 a view onto uh, Voxmail applications. We are, we are working on a browser, but it might take us quite a bit of time to get to get to any, um, to, to get it into Voxmate actually. Okay. Uh, and there was, I think a question. Oh yeah, just general, some more people feeding back. Audiobooks are definitely a winner. Uh, somebody liked the idea of the remote uh, access. So the platform for friends and family to help users get set up, which is, definitely good and um, ease of use seems to be coming out highly as well Katya so getting some very nice feedback there yes so uh, thank you I appreciate thank you very much for all the replies uh, now I feel that we actually are in the interaction it's not just us uh, talking heads talking here so thank you very much and uh, Stuart back to you thank you Katya and I'm now going to hand now I have I'm going to hand over to, <laughs> hand over to Glenn finally <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your uh, questions and interaction tonight um, with Gleb and Katia, because I think, uh, actually, I was worried about whether we'll get any questions, because I feel it's so simple to use, such a straightforward concept that people may not have questions. They may say, yeah, that's fine. That all works. That's cool. That's easy. So I was very pleased that people started to actually say, well, what about this? and What about that? So uh, that is good. And thank you very much uh, for the demonstration presentation tonight. And um, we'll carry on talking to you about all those secret things that, 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 you're, that you're making. Look, you know, um, many of you I know, having looked down the attendee list, know us here at Sight and Sound. And, and uh, it's this interest and desire to get new technology into the hands of people with low vision is what drives us. So... Um, uh, that's good. Oh, hey, they really like the voice. You can change the voices. I assume you get the full range of access to talkbacks, uh, voice uh, resources on the on the phone. Yeah. Uh, yes, so have Google this Voices. Is, this Google is voices. Um, a cool feature that we offer. We offer uh, what we call Voxmate voices. Uh, they are um, high quality voices based on latest neural networks. And uh, they are fantastic to read uh, long, long, uh, long text with. 
we're coming out with this feature for our subscribers. This is one of those premium features. Or you can use Google Voices by default. Google Voices are on your, uh, generated usually on your device. Uh, they are very fast, uh, so they have that uptick. But uh, if you want high quality, near uh, human quality uh, experience, then we have those um, uh, uh, AI voices. Good, cool. Thank you very much. So, um, and segue in the, the last question, uh, getting a copy of the recording. Yes, we'll have this recording up on our YouTube channel, Sight and Sound Technologies YouTube channel uh, sometime tomorrow morning. So go there. Uh, Rewatch the show if you liked it so much and send it to all your friends uh, and hopefully they'll like it uh, some more as well. There are other places you can go and find out more resources and more information about what Sight and Sound is up to at the sales at sightandsound.co.uk website. You can go to um, our uh, channel there. Um, we've also got an app you can download um, which will give you information about the low vision uh, conditions and the technology that supports them called what at w h a t a t that's in android and ios that's a nice uh, compendium of technology mapped onto condition so uh but voxmate's not in there yet so we need to get ready to update that now you're in the market guys and if you need to get to us there are a range of ways you can do that um obviously through the web and through us on the phone um, but on our website there's a self referral portal where you can just click on that and basically fill in a very simple uh, 30 second form and uh, tell us what you're interested in, what you want to know, and we'll get straight back to you. Um, so that's uh, hopefully we make it easy for you to connect with us and talk to us about anything you need to know about low uh, technology for people with low vision. Um, so that's all from me. And just to say thank you uh, Glev and Katia for tonight and thank you audience for being with us and Stuart it's up to you to press that final little red button I think. All right, we're about to press the red button. Just a very final thing, of course, sightandsound.co.uk forward slash media is a good place to go if you want to catch up with any of the YouTube videos and any previous uh, recordings and podcasts and stuff that we've done. So thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Zeb, uh, Gleb and Katia. And thank you to everyone for joining us tonight. We look forward to staying in touch with you and have a good evening.